in addition to the prescriptive process models that we just talked about, there are also some specialized process models which may take on one or more characteristics of the previous models. However, they're often applied when a more specialized type of software engineering approach is needed. The first example is component-based development. This model is similar to the spiral model in that it's evolutionary in nature. However, some of the step specifics may vary. When working with components, we have to check various things about finding the components and evaluating them. Things like component integration has to be considered. The software architecture has to be designed to accommodate those components. Components then are integrated into the architecture and then finally, you have to do comprehensive testing. The good news is with the correct components, overall development time can be drastically reduced. However, you will often need more time testing those components than you expect, especially if you're not used to working with them. This is especially true for either complex components or where you have multiple components that must work together that maybe were not designed initially to work together. Now, it should be noted that when we talk about components, we could be talking about hardware, things like a series of specialized sensors, or we could be talking about software. For example, a software library, maybe like one that's used in a game to simulate physics, that way you don't have to come up with your own physics model. Or maybe you're doing a business application and you need some sort of statistical modeling that you don't want to come up with. These are all examples of components that you might incorporate into your application. Throughout your development process, you might find that there are dozens, if not hundreds, of potential components you could use. The quality and the effectiveness of those components is what you have to be looking for. The next is what's known as the formal methods model. Formal methods require you to specify, develop, and verify a computer-based mathematical notation. These special cases are often when we're working with scientific or engineering applications which require detailed models to make sure we get them correct. This can cause design and modeling time to be much longer than you normally would because of these additional steps. And not everyone is able to come up with formal math proofs. This is why you don't see this particular method being used very often. 